Well, away from the FDI debate, news just coming in. The Indian couple in Norway has been given a jail sentence under Section 219 of Norwegian Penal Code. The father, Chandrasekhar, has been awarded a prison term of one year and six months, while the mother, too, has been sentenced to a year and three months in jail. So that's the latest coming in. Norway court announcing its verdict just a while ago. Our correspondent Lavina Tandon now joins us on the phone line from Oslo. Lavina, just take us through the details first. Uh, the judgment, as you know, is uh, that they have been found guilty under Norwegian Penal Code 219 and been given the sentence of one year, six months for Chandrasekhar and one year, three months for Anupama. The defense has already uh, planned to appeal this verdict in a higher court on the grounds that uh, this, there is not enough evidence to prove that the couple are guilty of uh, using violence to threaten their children. Another ground of appeal is humanitarian ground of appeal under which they are going to say that the couple should be let out of the prison, which is a norm in Norway, while a trial and an appeal is going on. All right, Lavina, just stay with us. Let's also quickly get a reaction now from Ridula Chanduri, who joins us from Hyderabad. Ridula, as we know, uh, the children uh, are with the grandparents here in Hyderabad. The family must be heartbroken with the news that's just come in. Absolutely. They were hoping that, at least for the mother, that is Anupama, they will show some consideration. They were doing a lot of research on cases like this, and they were hopeful that for a mother who has a, a two-year-old, she has left back here in Hyderabad, uh, that there will be some more consideration, though they were, in fact, they were hoping that the sentencing would not be as harsh as what they have seen now. Uh, but they were hoping that at least mother would be let off leniently, but that hasn't happened, so they're very, very unhappy, because the, ultimately the people who are managing the kids are just uncles and aunts and grandparents who can't, re who are not able to really take care of their needs, and that is the primary concern, uh, and that, and now they are worried how will they take care of them for over a year now, that, and that they are, in fact, the family here was completely advocate and we in fact first broke the news for the news to them that this was indeed the sentencing had taken place in Norway and uh, since then Chandrasekhar in fact called uh, his nephew Shailendra here in Hyderabad for a minute they could speak over the phone but Chandrasekhar conveyed that uh, the prosecution's uh, a recommendation of sentencing was in fact taken into consideration and what we understand from the family is, uh, is that Chandrasekhar felt that the uh, appeals that were made by the defense were not even considered, that they were unhappy with the fact that their their appeals were not uh, uh, taken into consideration or even uh, heard and and that is what they are they're very disappointed with and they're hopeful that if they go to a go to appeal in a, in a higher court maybe that they will be heard uh, better. All right, Mr. just stay on with us. We're getting a word in from Oslo from our correspondent, Lavina Tandon, who's been reporting extensively on this case. Lavina, just take us to what really happens next. As you were telling us, they've already filed an appeal. So they will be, because the verdict is just out, they will be filing an appeal and it will be on all probability tomorrow. Uh, the grounds, as I've already specified, now the defense also thinks that uh, the the entire case was not really well heard. And the doctor who was called to summon to uh, to uh, assess the marks of, on the child was actually uh, only see, saw, saw it on the photograph um, and did not examine the child really. So there is not enough evidence to say that uh, the child uh, was threatened, was beaten by a belt and was burnt by a spoon. So on these grounds, they're saying that the parents are not guilty. The second thing is that the church, social services had already assessed the entire case and given the children back to uh, the parents, so why should then um, the, this whole thing be prolonged? Because the whole process was designed to uh, protect the children and in the whole entire scenario, the only people suffering are really the children. So on these grounds, the defense is going to uh, file an appeal and they think that because it's going to be in a higher court, they will be better heard uh, and they think that this time nobody really heard them very well. They had already made up their minds. So in a higher court, possibly they have a better chance. All right. So does the defense feel that they're going to underscore on the point that there are cultural differences and perhaps there was a misunderstanding on those grounds? Uh, and uh, and do they expect that when they go to higher court and with this appeal, uh, the, the case would probably be heard, would be seen from that prison? Yes, they think that 
it's not only a matter of uh, cultural differences not been taken into consideration there is also language barrier which has been a very big thing which has created a communication gap in understanding these cultural differences the the translation of the entire documents presented in the case has not been provided in english to the couple the second thing is uh, a uh, telugu or a um, uh, person or uh, translator has not been provided by the court uh, by the prosecution because of lack of funds apparently so these are all these things which will be addressed uh, in the higher court all right and uh, so so they have a better chance they think in the higher court and they are very strong in believing that uh, the couple had the best interest in looking after the child and they could not handle the child and they wanted help which they did not get in time and when they got the help the police took them to trial and away from the child which is detrimental for the child Lavina Tandon and Mithila Chandri thank you both for joining us an 18 month jail term for the father 15 month for mother the indian couple who were arrested in the novi child abuse case the verdict just came out a while ago from oslo let's listen in to some of the relatives reactions that have come in <coughs> yeah <coughs> uh, just now i got a call from my uncle saying that uh, the prosecutors sentence what he expected that 1.6 years and 1.3 years for my aunt have been taken into consideration and uh, they been put down under sentence that's it uh, really it's a very big uh, distracting situations for our family members <coughs> you going to challenge it or you will move uh, to higher court yeah there is a chance of appealing in the next court we are going to do that also we are going to discuss with the lawyer uh, the neighbors and the witnesses who are there they are going to discuss on it yeah any information on what chances of getting a bail i don't think so there are such kind of uh, bails and all uh, but we are going to appeal that that's for sure and uh, what was your ground uh, for for the whole argument during our whole argument yeah <clears throat> i find uh, there must be some long uh, discussion should, that should have been happened a more support from the government should be there uh, see uh, the matter is going is going very good at uh, the time of friday and uh, thursday it was good but after that uh, i think the support from the government is uh, somewhat delayed 